well, hello, sir. Ooh, copper shovel. Yes, please. How are you doing, man? Not looking good, not looking good. I'm going to read your note. Oh, remains of medium animal. Animal, small, small, small. Okay. Campfire with stones. That's actually a good. Bed of leaves. Do you have a nice little camp here? All right, let's see what you have to say. Hello, adventurer. You really are an adventurer. Otherwise, you would never have found my mortal body. My name was Daniel Ortiz, and I was part of the Ponce de Leon expedition. I could be enjoying eternal life, having drunk water from the fountain. But instead, I would die here, in the middle of nowhere. And all because of that scoundrel, Gonzalo. He turned out to be very lucky. He found an ancient treasure map and called me with him. The plan was simple. We get eternal life as well as a huge fortune. What could go? What could be better? But why share it, right? So thought my partner. After the treasure was found and dug up, he attacked me in my sleep, broke my legs and destroyed my boat. Moreover, he left me a shovel, mockingly offering to dig a grave for myself instead of treasures. Damn him for eternity! I rely on you, wanderer to put my mortal remains in the grave. And if you're lucky, to punish this rogue Gonzalo, in case he is still alive. He was planning to ra return to the expedition. Lord, forgive me for greed, my mortal sin. Gold digging out. Okay, so wait, can we... I mean, is that supposed to be a... X marks the spot? Actually, I want to know. Can I dig you a grave? How does the work in digging here work? Okay. Nope. I'm sorry, Gonzalo. You're gonna have to stay there. Oh, look at that. You even have some sunlight in here. Nice. Nice little place. Not gonna lie. But yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Survival Fountain of Youth. We made it to the Copper Island, what's it called? Actually, should we proceed up here, maybe? I feel like this... It, no, it's not gonna be the best way, is it? So yeah, oh shit. Uh, I made my way over here, found these boxes floating around, which I assumed were gonna point to something, like a location of sorts. And it did. Found that little cave. So Gonzalo. Oh right. Gonzalo was the guy who broke his legs and stole the treasure. Damn, that's that's ruthless. Oh poor Ortiz. I can't remember if it was named Diego or not, but poor Ortiz. This looks like a good spot. I'm pretty sure we had one, a spot at, on the other side as well. But they didn't want to go there. I thought let's explore this spot. I think there's a ship down there. Actually, I want to take the time. While it's still light out. To use that one. And map this area. Oh, shh. You piece of shit. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Got some more buffaloes. Yeah, that is really, really, really a ship. Oh. I think there's another one. Thought I heard a hissing. Oh shit, do I have any rope? Oh, I do. Good, 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 good. Primitive bed of leaves. So someone actually... Oh, that is actually really cool if we could build that. Theatrum Orbis Terrarum. Alright. Uh, let's get out here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, is, is that you, Mr. Harpy? Is this your place? Are you gonna come in? I can kill ya. Yeah. 
Nice. Oh, we have class on Lianas. Cannonball. Special object. Oh, fishing spot. Gave. Interesting item. Interesting item. Oh, I'm getting hot. Oh, is this island going to be super hot? Because it looks like it, doesn't it? It almost looks like it's like scorched lands. And just, I would like that heartbeat to just come down. Because I don't like, oh, there's another mapping tree. Maybe we should, oh, should we go for that? I'm hot though. I'm hot as hell. Uh, there's no sun, there's no shade. Oh, look at that. Oh, I heard ya. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, is that gonna be... Okay, because I need to drink. Oh, no. Wasn't like that, was it? What? Okay, I need to look into some sun protection shit. Otherwise, the sun is gonna kill me. Oh, unless it's gonna be like one of those... Oh, should I sleep during the day and explore at night? But it's so freaking dark, ain't it? <laughs> I don't like the night. I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, this was the little cove I saw previously. Okay. So it's basically this side of the island is just rocks. And here we have the sandy beaches. Okay, map. No! No, no, no. Uh, okay, shit. Honestly, though, uh, can we do this? I mean, if someone could build a freaking hut... Can we place a freaking fire up here then? Ah, oh, that would have been cool. Oh, okay, maybe not. Would have been <laughs> maybe a bit too much. Mm. Okay, let's hope. Hurry up. There we go. Okay, so we have. Okay, wait. Just trying to see. So it's basically this little piece that we haven't mapped out there's a mapping tree over there yeah because this whole area is pretty <gasps> living water dragon fruit oh nice pineapples as well and harpy yeah okay so that's the yeah okay all right all right oh no 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 shit eight damage That much I got a minor cut. <laughs> and you seriously, did you just <laughs> <sighs> shit? Everything on this freaking island wants me dead. <sighs> the fucking sun. There's tango all all over the place. There is there are giant ass fucking spiders. Spiders, There's, look at it. I, I have the fucking flu. There are snakes as well. Oh, this is, this is the island of death. It's like if you want to die, go here. Don't make it happen. don't like you look at you you're just big and shitty oh okay there's supposed to be two interesting items here i see one i guess this is the other ancient algae drawing an ancient tablet with drawings two types of algae and corals grow on the seabed i can try to look for them on water near large rocks okay that is actually pretty cool. So we can... Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, let's, let's read this one. The image 
depicts a primitive loom and a master weaver producing cloth. It looks like he's using red algae as raw material. Okay, so we can... Okay, so we should go get algae then. And is that the interesting item? It's gonna stay there because we can't pick it up? I'm gonna assume that makes most sense. Oh, I thought that was freaking snake. I am so stressed out on this freaking island. I hate it so much. Uh, yeah, we have a special object over there, but I'm guessing I'm, I want to check this. This big ship out. But yeah, when we stay in the sun for too long, we get, I don't know, sunstroke or shit. But apparently, I can use uh, my banana leaves or whatever. And the uh, a handful of termites. Because <laughs> reasons uh, to make a uh, dressing, I guess, of sorts. But downside, I need a fucking alchemy chemistry table shit to do anything about it. Yep, that made me upset. That made me very, very, very upset. Alright, anyone home? Hello? Hello? The art and use of fencing. Okay. So is that like fencing as in sword fighting or fencing as in you put up a fence? Who knows? Gonna read a book. Not gonna be any spoilers. Oh shit. I, I do this freaking sneeze animation. That sometimes it just gets to <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm stressed. I'm so stressed. I hate this island. This is the worst one yet. Hey, there we go. Now the sun is too hot. Ugh. Okay, what do we have here? Ah, oh, piece of natives map. That's actually pretty cool. It's a, it's a big ass skull. It's definitely bigger than yours. That's for damn sure. That's massive. Oh, shit! Stop with the freaking. All right, what's next? We've been there. We've found this shit hole. Uh, I guess the Chronicle, uh, <laughs> Cause what, our goal is to find the camp of the survivals, they're apparently supposed to be here. I don't know, I'm stressed. I'm stressed! I can't frickin' s- I, I, I can't think straight. <laughs> I'm so stressed! Of course you had any fucking scorpions as well. I think we have officially... Oh, but, oh, I guess what's missing is just a... Jaguar, maybe? I guess that's what we're not seeing at the moment. Probably gonna have that. If we do, then I guess we have officially, like, every freaking animal that can kill us on this freaking island. Oh, guys. Tegu, are you? No, that's mushrooms. Thought it was the head of the tegu. I need to do this before the sun becomes too hot. Where are you? I hear you. I don't know where you are. Oh, is that you? Oh, oh of course. I guess there are so many of you. Oh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> How do I get to this chronicle in living water then? Oh, let's see if I can take a right. This should be living water here. Okay. Moving up. Should be a living water here. Oh, I want that. Okay, actually, don't really, really, really want... Yeah, I do. Because I've used up all of mine. Where is it?
I can hear you. What is that? There you are. Okay, so it's... Oh, there are always two then. I get... Yep, okay, you did not... Move. Where's a friend? Come on then. Piece of... Okay, but maybe this... Oh, actually takes me... Wait, what? <gasps> Is it gonna be another cave, maybe? Oh shit, don't fall down, don't fall down. Don't hurt yourself. Uh, yes, thank you. The Chronicle and the Living Water should be... There you are. I heard a snake. Oh, just come. That's the best when they open there. Oh, here it is. And there's the snake I heard. Fuck off. And a one and a two. And a... Oh, that's it. Oh, living water. Thank you so much. Puffball mushroom. I don't care. Song of the Last Days. When the war with the immortals ended, the story of this, of this tribal nation ended with it. For 16 years, people were dying of pestilence all over the islands. They destroyed the poisoned wells and created new clay well, wells for rainwater. But it was too late. And soon, there was no one left to drink from them. And there were those who sailed off into the fogs of Bimini Belt on their simple boats. But no one ever returned. And the red waters told their fate. Then on the 17th year after the ship burning, the last mortal in the last village took his last breath. That's a bit sad. Well, guess that's what happened. Okay, there are you. Don't think there's any Tegu around. Oh, shit, that scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a snake. I'm so jumpy. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, I think I found a camp. And I hear a Tegu. I hear you, you piece of shit. There's food. I guess it's from the harpy who was eating it. Okay, there you are. Ooh! No, 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 oh my god. Okay, I don't have any more. <gasps> I don't have any more sticks. I'll point the sticks. It's a shit. It's oh my fuck. No. Oh. I hate this island so much. I want to go home. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, if there's a snake. Oh, I thought there was going to be a snake up here. Broken sextant. Need copper ingot. All right. Blank piece of parchment. Need feather and ink, which I don't have because I use that. Ponce de Leon's orders about search parties. So we're off to investigate. Our astronomer and navigator, Diego Nunez, will travel to the island with the coordinates, blah blah blah, where the winds are constantly blowing. He said that it would be the best place to compose the wind rose. Jose de Ruiz will entail to explore the island covered with constant fog. Just like the belt of the Mini, the coordinates of this island are blah 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 blah. There, he will try to understand why the fog ne never lifts. And at the same time, he clearly hopes to find more ancient remains. Our alchemist and naturalist, 
Francisco Maris rushed to the rainy island where he had noticed interesting swamp fumes. Sounds strange, but all scientists are a bit of strange. The coordinates of this island are blah 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 blah. Jacob Eliasso wants to study the currents covering near the underwater temple. I will accompany him and go to the coordinates blah blah blah. Engineer Gaspar Castillo and Dr. Ricardo intend to study the island with iron deposits blah 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 in order to find resources to upgrade our ship before the trip to Bimini, as well as to gather information about the fairway. Sailors from Santa Maria will remain on duty in the camp here, on the Copper Island, with Fernand Delgado in charge. Okay. Oh, so we're actually gonna have, like, a lot of... I guess we saw the wind turbine, so I guess that will... Oh, I see you. Peace. I think you could sneak up on me huh think again yeah i guess the island with the wind turbine is the one we uh oh this is actually well equipped oh please tell me i already have a, a uh, uh alchemist bench somewhere but yeah i guess the Island with the wind turbine is the one we is the one he went to. That dude, one of the dudes. <laughs> the book of Washerwoman by Nicholas Flamel. <gasps> Nicholas Flamel. Nice, nice, nice one. That's a regular workbench. Stump, pile of scrap. These are all piles of scraps. I mean, you guys been dead for a long time, haven't you? Tack, tack the diary. Take the diary. Diary of Ponce de Leon. The storm took the lives of many members of the San Cristobal crew, including the captain. But the ship reached the final destination of the expedition. Instead of the island, the sailors found an impassable chain of rocks and dangerous currents. They called it the B-Mini Belt. After unsuccessful attempts to pass the B-Mini Belt, the ship was badly damaged and in need of urgent repairs. First mate Fernan, who had become the new leader, decided to stop near one of the large islands. Fernan organized the construction of a temporary camp there in order to find resources to repair the San Cristobal, as well as to search for other survivors who could be on the islands nearby. A few days later, the survivors arrived themselves. Juan Ponce de Leon was accompanied by sailors from the Santa Maria. Once again, the commander encouraged his comrades in the success of the expedition. During the assembly, Fernand showed pieces of copper ore that had been found on the island. If enough copper could be found, it was possible to repair and strengthen the San Cristobal and continue the expedition. The crew decided to go in search of copper ore deposits. The next morning, Fernand Delgado and Juan Ponce de Leon as the most experienced explorers left the camp. Diary of Ponce de Leon. Juan Ponce de Leon, expedition to the Fountain of Youth. The San Cristobal escaped. As we reached the big island, we saw the caravel at anchor. The fact that the San Cristobal had lost us in the fog before the storm had saved it, and now the ship is here. So the expedition goes on. Sailors of the San Cristobal told us about the ring of reefs around Bimini, or the Bimini belt as they named it. It is clear that this belt is not so easy to cross. We need to study it closely. The pilot says that the belt can be crossed with skill and knowledge of the local weather. Well, at least now we know our immediate goal. Sailors of the San Cristobal told us that they saw a strange temple building that looked like a temple right in the middle of the sea on their way here. There are also several different currents con converging on its location. I think I have to study it closely. There may be some clues to help in this decrypting the map. 
will sail there as soon as the ship is ready. Bernan organized the cam work and helped to form the search parties. He is a very talented person and a pretty useful assistant. Moreover, he found copper on the island, which is why we called it the Copper Island, that can be used for repairing the ship. Tomorrow, with the first ray of the sun, we will leave and head to it. Okay, that's a lot of... Okay, why am I immobilized? I haven't picked anything up. I... Oh, no. Piece of leather. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, weak bow. I can throw that out. Okay, that almost brings me... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, it broke. On this map is shown the location of the copper ore mine, which Ponce and Fernan were headed to. So we're here, so it's just up to the north, but oh my lord, <laughs> I don't... <sighs> Shit. Oh, okay, where's the map entry? It's right over there. I'll head there, and then I don't know what to do my my life. <sighs> Slide overheating. Bed of leaves, interesting sight. Chronicles, Buffalo Potion. So that's a new place, right? That's also Primitive Bed of Leaves. Now this is the camp, right? Didn't see a bed there, but it has to be. Considering, like, the location of everything. I think. And here we're a special object and an interesting site as well. And a freaking Jaguar. A yeah, that's a cover deposit. That's where we should go. I knew it. I knew it. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I freaking tell you? There's gonna be a freaking jaguar on this island. We officially have everything. This is the island of death. It's not the freaking copper island. It's the island of death. Nothing else. Oh. Yes, I'm upset. Yes, I fucking hate this. <laughs> My bag broke. I got no shit. So stressed. Alright, let's get this big cat. I didn't make one really, really bad judgment call. I thought I could upgrade my normal wooden pointer sticks to stone sticks, pointer sticks. But apparently not. I could not do that. Ooh, you shit. Ooh, okay. Okay. Let's make a count. Oh, stop it. Oh, no, 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 don't. Not you as well. Oh, I'm so stressed. Oh, where? Oh, you piece of. Oh. I'm so stressed. Interact. Jaguar attendants. And I can't even. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. I'll take it. Harvest it. It only takes four to three minutes. I mean, that's pretty effective harvesting. Oh, oh that was stressful. <gasps> didn't do quite as bad as I thought I would, but didn't do as good as well. There's one more Tegu. Tago, I, I can't even remember what your name is. Piece of native maps, thank you. Oh, that does look good.
Jesus Christ. Oh, there are more. First, there are more. And I'm missing. I'm missing it. I'm missing them. Oh my lord. Okay. Am I gonna survive a freaking Jaguar but then get killed by you piece of shits? Is that it? <laughs> there is still one more. Oh, crap. Okay, so this is it then. Copper deposit. Nice. Did we craft that pickaxe? I don't think I did. I need to craft it. Okay, the tablet about Fernand's fate. Juan Ponce de Leon and Fernan Delgado found an ancient copper mine in the depths of the island. The explorers were about to start mining the ore. When a huge beast jumped out of the bushes and rushed to the commander, the conquistadors had never seen such a ferocious predator before. Fernan did not hesitate and struck the animal with a well-aimed shot. His quick response is the only thing that saved Juan Ponce de Leon. With the beast defeated, the friends filled a cart with copper ore and returned to the camp. The sailors were able to use the ore to forge strong patches and reliable tools to repair the San Cristobal. The ship and four small boats were soon fixed and ready to sail. This time, Juan Ponce de Leon decided to act for sure. The commander organized several search parties to study the nearby islands and their weather. Knowledge of the region was to help the sailors make their way through the B-mini belt. I found a list of places with coordinates where the search parties and the commander himself had gone. If I can determine the coordinates of the island I am currently on, I could draw a map and then figure out where to sail to find Juan Ponce de Leon. Ah, uh, and that's why we need the um, feather and ink and need to repair the sextant. Be able to do that. A cathedral will be, a cathedral will be built here in memory of Fernand Delgado, who saved the life of his captain Juan Ponce de Leon. My life. In 1513, we mined copper here in an ancient mine to restore a damaged ship and continue the expedition in search of the Fountain of Youth. Are those their markings there? 5, 10, 15, 17? So what, you were here for 17 days mining? Guess that could actually make sense. I mean, to fill up a cart like that would probably take some time now, wouldn't it? Okay, so for that we needed a iron ingot, I think. Or copper ingot, and we needed the ink and feather, which I have seen before. I had one, but I apparently used it. Draw some map in, and we need a feather, a clay strip, uh, an egg. There's a lot of stuff we need. Sweating potion. Huh. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Oh, you're back. Nice. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, and make sure to hit the little notification bell as well, so you get notified of every time I upload a new episode, because we will continue this one. We still have some exploring to do, and I need to do some crafting to do all those things. I think I need to grind stuff. I need. I want to repair my bag as well, because this is just shit. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I don't like this island. I hate it. I want to be done so fast. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.